Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are now downstairs for the cleaning. Again, it's basically like upstairs, the place is a pigsty. Princess is gonna help mummy, aren't you? Are you not gonna get in my way today? You don't know about that. This is our princess, you all know princess. She's uh, the one that's constantly around my feet, I can't move for her. She's always robbing all my cloths so that mummy can just sit down and play with her, aren't you? Hey, are you a beautiful girl? She's literally the baby girl, I don't have her as honestly she is. I love her so much, don't I? What did mummy give you for your dinner? Did I give you crab sticks? No, no, listen, no. Listen to mummy. Now you've got friends, look what you've done. <laughs> no, not giving you anything. So, we're downstairs for the clean up. Downstairs is basically the same as upstairs. Things are a little bit up the wall. I've the paper shredder out because the letters are piled up and up and up. And in 10 days, it piled up quite a lot. I'll spin it round just so you can see. And that was clean. It was empty, there was nothing in there. So, that's how much paper shredding's been going on before. And I thought I'd just get a majority of it done because some of it's personal stuff. When your home insurance is about to be renewed, the letters just come flying through the door. And I can't bear all of that. So, I thought I'll get a little bit of that done. I've still got a little bit more to do. One question that I get asked an awful lot is how do I wash my microfiber cloths and my e-cloths? And you know, do they get washed separate? Well, it's a whole different video, which I'm happy to do if you want me to leave me a comment down below. But I wash all my microfiber cloths and my e-cloths at the end of the night with the towels that we've used to have a shower and the tea towels. So if I just bring you over here, just a little touch. I'm cheeky and I've put my washing on the line in the hope that it will dry. Now, I don't really know whether it's gonna zoom, but as you can see, I don't even know whether you can see actually, but the other end of the washing line is the microfiber cloths, the e-cloths and um, tea towels and bath towels. And they are basically the towels that we've used in the morning and at night to shower and they all go in the same wash and I don't use any fabric softener in that wash. And the reason that I don't use fabric softener is because I don't like the fact that your towels don't dry you when you've used fabric softener. So they just get washed in either Fairy Non Bio or Bold or whatever I'm using at that time. It doesn't really matter. But I don't use fabric softener with them. So they dry me nicely and they dry the dishes nicely or my hands nicely. And my microfiber cloths don't get that waterproof barrier on them, which is not what I want. And if you do use fabric softener on your e cloths, it's just gonna ruin them for the simple reason you'll get a smear on your glass instead of that nice crystal shine. So that's how I wash my microfiber cloths. There was something else as well that I wanted to say. Uh, it's gone out of my mind because I ramble far too much as is it all away. But I'm gonna get stuck in anyway and get some cleaning up done because it needs it. I'll walk you through so you can see. I'm just gonna slip you off. As you can see, I've got my paper shredder out and some personal info, which is not going in the shredder, but a majority of it was. These are Lee's dishes. He came in from Creamfields and decided he was having pasta. So they're Lee's dishes. So move around, you've got lots of tea stains. These are all things that you don't see. <laughs> I don't usually give you the close up of all this, but I do say to you, you know, it's not, it's not as clean as it looks on camera. This is just, I've brought the hoover down. So, you know, that can stay there. And then we go through to the utility. And again, we've got loads of mess. Lee thinks that this is his workstation, but it's not. I brought them down from upstairs. Let's put a bit of light on this place. So yeah, that's that. This is the hall. Just brought the spray mop down. The hall doesn't actually get too bad, to be honest. If anything, it's just the floor that gets a little bit messy. But keys lying around at Lee's power bank. Car keys. And then we come into the lounge. Hi Noah! Hi! Oh you're a beautiful boy! You are! Who's mommy's boy? Who's mommy's boy? Where's Henry? Hey! There's Henry. <laughs> it's his hedgehog. It's Henry the hedgehog. So this is how things are looking. Now, things are a little bit dusty. They're not dusty enough to be able to write your name in them but it's been about four days 
So I'm gonna write, hi, can you see it? <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> and then as we come into the dining room, it's, it actually doesn't get too messy to be fair. That's just my handbag and purse, which I've left lying around. And it just needs polishing and cleaning. And that's it. Oh. Them cushions are to go in the bin. They were in the loft, so I just need... In fact, I'll and I leave my paper shredder in this bag because it's a net. And have you seen the dust when you shred paper? Hmm. Then you'll feel my pain. That's what I've got on my hands. I'm going to get stuck in, give it a good clean. It needs hoovering and mopping and polishing. And I'm absolutely knackered. I've got a thumping headache. I need an early night tonight, so... Let's get stuck in anyway and get it done. Oh my gosh, we have a guest, a six or maybe eight legged guest up on the roof. Hmm. As long as it doesn't fall on my food, it can stay there, it's fine. Anyway, let's get on with it. <laughs>
everyone. All I've got to do now is spray mop through, which I'm not going to film because it's nearly five past eight in the night. I'll just bring it over to the clock so you can see. It's actually that late that my lamp's just come on, which is on an automatic timer and it's dark outside. I'm all finished. All I've got to do is put the spray mop through and the house is clean. I am knackered. I have spent the whole day cleaning. This is what I do on a monthly basis. I do it once a month where it's a deep clean. Obviously, I didn't film where I pull the couch out or the chair out, but you get the gist of it anyway. I am now going for a very much needed soak in the bath and I'm just going to chill out and read a book. If you're looking for a decent book to read, I highly, highly recommend The Couple Next Door. It sucked me in completely. I loved it. I read it and it's amazing. It's a great book. So if you're looking for a decent little book to read every night when you get into bed, The Couple Next Door is the book to read. I don't know what book I'm going to read tonight, but I'll decide when I get into bed. And I hope you all have a lovely day, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now. I'm currently burning a wax melt and it is Tom Ford Black Orchid. My kitchen smells amazing. My stools, someone commented on one of the pictures and said they see that I've got new stools and I haven't. They're still exactly the same and if I crouch down, I mean, I've cleaned them, but they're a nightmare to keep clean, obviously with the dogs and the wet beards. So I do still want new stools that haven't got circle metal bottoms on them. So it's had a deep thorough clean in the kitchen. Princess, <laughs> I've cleaned all the cabinets, I've cleaned all the sinks and obviously I'll take the, when the dishwasher's finished, I'll put the plug back in the sink. I've cleaned all this, it's actually really sparkly, I love it when it's had a deep clean like this because everywhere literally just sparkles. If I just flick them lights on, it's just so clean, like you can see the reflection of the plug socket in that worktop, I love that. And you can see the reflection of everything in the cabinets, even me, <laughs> they're that clean. So I'm absolutely thrilled with the kitchen. The kitchen's been scrubbed out and is smelling absolutely gorgeous.